Hey, beautiful creatures. Welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name's Amy, and I'm so glad to have you. I hope you're doing well. Today, I'm doing a general energy reading as a collective. So thank you for joining me. If this is your first time to my channel, hi, hello, how are you? It's so good to have you. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel and becoming a member of my tribe. If you're a returning subscriber, hey, guys, what's up? How you doing? It's always good to connect with your energy, and I truly appreciate you guys being here. So let's get shuffled up, shall we? Now, if you hear any weird speech patterns and stuff like that, just know I've had all my teeth removed due to the damage autoimmune disease caused, and um, I'll be getting dentures soon, but there may be some weird stuff in my speech. Okay, so what's going on? Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Ah. Uh, Huh. <laughs> but I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to. I like living in the spirit world. It's so much more fun, <laughs> you know, uh, dealing with reality. That's what Saturn retrograde's about, you know, dealing with your reality, doing the work, you know, doing grown folk stuff, that kind of thing. Um, and I feel like there may be some of you guys who are like, ah, but I've been doing that. I don't want to do that anymore. I know. I feel you. I do. I'm feel the same way. I'm like, can I just get a break? I literally said that this morning when I woke up. Like, can I get one break here? Just one break. But the truth is, I've gotten some breaks, you know. So it's just time for me, like everybody else, to deal with their stuff. And, um, you know, we're all in this together. Really, we are. It doesn't matter what level of ascension you're at, whether you just kind of started your, your, um, your journey or... Um, you know, you've been on it for 30 years. It doesn't matter. Okay. Inner peace. All right. Okay. So spirit is trying to bring more inner peace into many people's lives, peace in the world. I think a lot of us, you know, with everything, it's like the world's on fire. And many of us are like, we're tired of the world being on fire. We're tired of the stuff going on, um, the suffering and the misery in the world. And many of us are pulling Many of us are pulling for um, peace, peace within our own lives. And know that as you are able to make more peace in your own life and live in a more peaceful, balanced way, you will see it reflected in our, uh, our world, our society, in your family, in your friend group. Um, be the peace. I know you guys have heard this. Be the peace that you seek. It's really difficult. That's really where we start getting into self-mastery and flow. OK, because I can sit here and complain whatever about what's going on. But the truth is, is that this is part of the journey that I asked for when I said I wanted to be healed, when I said I wanted to have a better life, when I said that I wanted to reconnect with people and I wanted to use my abilities to help whatever, whatever your statements of manifestation are. This is part of that journey. And uh, we have to deal with our stuff, you know, and it's hard. And a lot of this stuff is just leftover it's we've done the major healing but this stuff lingers and sometimes when things linger they get bigger and more scary than what they really are and once you face it once you're willing to open up that box and see what's in there um, and I'm seeing like a box open like like this way for some of you this way for other people um, and it may be like mentally or spiritually where you like put stuff aside to come back and deal with at another time when you're not in the midst of deep healing and transformation and, you know, that kind of thing and clearing. So these may be things in your life that you have been, um, you've been working on, but there are elements of it you haven't dealt with. And now they're coming back up. And I feel dread. You know, I feel a little bit of dread. Uh, myself, I'm having to deal with some things. But the truth is, is that the dread that you're feeling, it is, it is something created. Like what I feel is that as you face your issues, you're going to find that um, it's not as dreadful as what you thought. It's probably going to be easier than what you thought. That's a, no, it's not. I thought it was upside down there for a minute. Okay. Let's get an archetype card. <clears throat> you guys, I'm having some problems with my esophagus. So if you hear any weird noises, 
It's my esophagus doing its thing. Okay. Oh, we're going to take two. All right. We have king, light attributes, and enlightened, benevolent leadership benefiting those in your charge. Okay. And we have destroyer, light attribute, releasing what is potentially destructive, preparing for a new life. Ooh, this is good, you guys. This is so good. Um, so you are establishing kingship. That's energy, not gender, over a particular situation. Okay, kingship. You are destroying obstacles. All these things that you have put away to deal with. Um, that are coming back up, you're going to get through it. You're going to overcome the obstacle. Okay. This is really where you go to the next level when you face those things. And I, I face quite a few actually of things I put aside and they come back up. I've done this process quite a few times. So um, you will destroy the obstacle. You will see it for not for the fear, but the reality of it, the realness of it. It's much less scary than what you think. You're going to be able to, it's almost like there's, I'm seeing a big door, a big door. But as you move closer, like a, a locked door, uh, as you move closer to it, you see that the big door is actually an illusion and the door is actually much smaller. And you'll be able to walk right through it. It won't even appear locked anymore. And when you face the thing that you've put, been putting over, you're going to get into this energy of taking control of your life. You're going to feel empowered by it. Um, and, you know, this will happen at different times for different people, but it, it is part of a healing journey. Um, you know, healing, it, 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 it's tough, dirty work. You know, you have to get in to the, the places nobody wants to go, you know, and face fear. And, um, you know, sometimes we have to sit with our fear a little bit to face it. So, yeah. OK, let's get some um, let's get some tarot here. Tell me what else is coming forward. Tell me, as we get our kingship, as we overcome um, destructive tendencies, obstacles, health issues, mental issues, emotional issues, as we begin to deal with them in real ways. Okay, the lovers. Ah, you guys, some of you guys, love is coming. Okay, new relationships. Now, this could be, the lovers can be a person coming like a couple. We could be talking about a couple or there's somebody coming close to you. Or this is an element within yourself where you are balancing your masculine and feminine energy, spiritual balance, spirituality, practicality. You're balancing like your emotional, physical, mental, phys whatever this is, needs with instead of being in the wanting, you move into the doing. You start actually do, doing the work of taking care of yourself, whatever this means, okay? Um, for some people, it'll be things like a breakup, you know? It, it feels like maybe it's just, you know, over. Maybe it's the reality for some people coming forward that a relationship is over. It could be friends, friends. It could be a family. It could be, you know, it's different for different people. It could be a job, right? Or this could be like someone coming towards you, okay? Like new love showing up or new love for self. For a lot of you guys, I feel like there's a level of self-respect and dignity returning to you, where once you felt you were not worthy or worth it or worth the effort, now you know you are. And what happens is when we move into this energy is of, I know I'm worth it. And you may feel a little bit like, why didn't I see this before? Because you had to work the process. For whatever reason, you had to go through what you did. You walk into the knowing, I know I'm worth it. Like what's coming to me is mine. You know, this healing is, is mine. This person is mine. You know, I'm leaving behind things that no longer serve me. And it's easier said than done. You know, if you are beginning this journey, you know how difficult it is because many of you are getting like intuitive hits on situations that you need to clear up and you need to clear up soon for your own you know, health, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual. Okay. It can be hard. And, you know, if you've been on this journey a while, there can be relationships that pop up that spirits like, Hey, this is no longer working. You've grown and this isn't working anymore. You know, and for a few of you guys, as you release somebody, somebody's going to come in. That's part of this healing that's happening for others. This is like loving yourself enough to take care of yourself, to slow down, to hold space, to start saying no. Don't say yes when you mean no, okay? And remember, you don't owe anyone an explanation for that no. They're going to make you feel like it. 
they're going to they're going to try to pressure you into saying why so they can get into a confrontation and judge you. But instead, you say no. And when they come at you, you say, I don't really owe you an explanation right now. Um, maybe in the future we can talk about this or something like that. You know, but you don't owe anyone an explanation, period. You don't have to revisit it. That's it. And if they can't, if they cannot accept that, then there's something going on. OK, and you need to reflect on that. OK. We have the eight of presence. Okay. Now for me, the eight of presence is about working on like proficiency. Okay. So I feel like what's happening this level here, you're reaching a certain level of self mastery by doing this work. Okay. This is something that you will probably repeat. I've repeated this kind of process many times in my life. Uh, they've been very crucial moments. Um, when you have a lot of stuff going on, when you have a lot of complexity in your past and your trauma, this could be past lives as well. It just it's different for different people. You know, it can take you can have to work through it at different levels and you begin to master yourself as you work through it. And for a lot of you, that's what's going on. You are working on mastering yourself to the point where you take care of yourself physically and emotionally, mentally and spiritually. You know who you are. It doesn't mean you don't have bad days and it doesn't mean you don't get confused. But deep down, you trust your journey because it's going to help you and you're going to see it overcome many obstacles by doing the work. OK, we have death transformation. OK, releasing of patterns, people, places, things that don't work anymore. That's really what we're talking about here is transforming ourselves. And by transforming ourselves. We transform our life into a more peaceful place, okay? And um, for many of you, what you'll see is as you get to that place where you're no longer at war with yourself, you're loving yourself, you're respecting your flow. So what do I mean by that? Because I keep saying flow. Well, physical flow. I will use myself as, as an example because it's what I know, and that's kind of how I share things. So for me, I had to start getting real comfortable with the fact that there will be some days that I won't be able to do the goals that I set for myself. OK, there will be days where um, I will have to, you know, say I can't do it. I can't do your reading today or I can't read for my channel today or I can't like there, the other day I needed to go. I was supposed to get my hair done and I had to call the, the person and be like, I can't come in because I've been up since three in the morning and I was a lupus thing because it is all, you know, um, and I. I need to like not do anything today. And she has a lupus. So that was, she understood, right? And it's great when people understand, even if you don't have something like that, you may know somebody or whatnot. Um, maybe it's a relative that has it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, but compassion, when people, when you have people in your life, just generally, I want to say this on behalf of chronically ill people. If you have someone in your life who deals with chronic illness and they make plans with you and then they pull out at the last minute, don't give them a hard time because I guarantee you that was very hard for them to do because they probably had to do it for years. Um, and this could be any kind of chronic illness, mental, emotional, spiritual, physical. I'm, I, they're all important. They're all valid. OK, so um, be nice. Be compassionate. Yeah, you may be frustrated, but I tell you what, you are no more frustrated than they are because I guarantee you they're very frustrated. It makes me frustrated to have to tell people, hey, I can't do something today. I just I don't feel well. Um, and, uh, you know, and I know it's for people hard for people, especially my clients. I have the best clients, though. I really do. I've never had somebody get mad at me or anything because I'm really trying to honor my vessel. And the sessions are a thousand times more in depth and more powerful when I'm feeling good. OK, so, yeah. All right. Let's keep going here. So, ooh, there's something flipped. I'm going to take the flip card. We have temperance. Ah, you know, <laughs> patience, right? Be patient. Do the work. I also feel like these are your guides coming forward. The re I did a reading earlier for um, yesterday. When you see this, it'll be your yesterday, whatever day that is. And uh, there were some guides coming through. The dark goddess showed up, you know, Lilith, uh, Hecate, um, the Egyptian one that I, I am not going to butcher the name because it starts with an N. She's the underworld goddess and the sister of Isis. There's just a lot of different divine, dark, feminine energies coming forward. Take the one that you resonate with. Um, 
And I feel like, uh, or for some of you guys, it's subconscious, your subconscious. There's just a lot of powerful energy coming forward to help humanity get through this because you are not the only person going through this. This is part of ascension. And people are, you know, I always get frustrated with, um, you know, spiritual people who are all love and light. And they judge people who are in a darker energy or in more balanced energy of like, you're leaning into darkness. You're creating all this dark stuff in the world, blah, blah, blah. That is not what's happening. The dark goddess came before the light. She is where we were all born. And that's energy, not gender. We all come from darkness. It's science, you guys. It's the way it is. Light is a creation. It was birthed from darkness. So many of us who who tend to lean that way or are more balanced in our spirituality, we're more like gray or unified you know, unity consciousness. You know, uh, we understand that the shadow has value for depth, for true healing. You've got to be willing to go there. And for many people, this darker energy, it could be an angelic energy as well. It could be a spirit. It, it could be a lot of things for a lot of people, um, uh, ancestors as well. Um, but you have to be willing to go into those dark crevices of subconscious, of pain, um, to pull out and glean the wisdom that you can. It doesn't mean that you won't have to return. But there's a certain there's a certain leveling up happening. And I really feel like it's coming from a recent blast of energy uh, on the planet. You can kind of watch that through the Schumann resonance. I mispronounce it all the time. It's probably Sherman. I don't know. Anyway, it's Schumann. It's all over Twitter. You can find it easily on Twitter, which I don't go there often. But um, And it seems like every time we get a blast of this energy, um, it's like it activates light in our DNA. And the light, the new light, shines into the darker places. So it bubbles up to the surface. And before you know it, you're dealing with stuff that you've put aside you know, it's not for some of you guys, you do fear it for others. It's just like I put it aside and now it's developed into a subconscious fear. And, you know, I just need to walk into it. And that's what I'm getting. You just need to walk into it. Just need to walk into it. whatever it is that you've been resisting. Just walk into it because it's going to be overcome. Definitely going to be overcome. I'm going to get one more card because it feels weird to get four um, <laughs> to get four tarot cards. OK. And we have the moon. Oh, y'all, you, you guys remember the scene in um, The Nightmare Before Christmas where they're singing, where he's singing. Oh, I love that part. And see what I'm getting from this moon card, because, you know, I'm an intuitive reader. I channel and stuff like that. I get all the moon stuff. But but what I'm getting here is like a time of sweetness approaching with inner peace here and this king energy. For many of you guys, there are manifestations that are going to come from you dealing with this. Uh, for a lot of you, it's going to help make you healthier. So you're going to be able to do more things in life. You're going to be able to say yes when you mean yes, instead of feeling like you have to say no. Um, and I tell you, I know that when you're going through this, because I've been here, that's like, oh, well, that's great. <laughs> but meantime, I have to go through it. Well, yeah, you do. But there is something on the other side. And I don't know about you, but sometimes when I'm going through these destroyer things where I have to destroy obstacles and level towers and all kinds of shit, I forget that on the other side of that are good things, right? That's why we're removing them, right? And what happens is, is that I forget there are good things. So when they start showing up, I'm like, ooh, yeah, that's great, you know? Or sometimes I'm caught off guard like, whoa, where did this come from? And then I have to remember that I deserve it right? That it, that's a good thing. So, all right. What am I going to close with? I'm going to get one more from the True Love Oracle deck. I love this deck. I highly, highly recommend. 10 out of 10. Okay. Tell me more good things. More good things. The Gardener. Oh, <laughs> I love this card. I did a reading with one, one of these cards was a face card in it. I can't remember now which one it is, but um, I feel like, again, this is the sweet time that we're talking about that's coming. As you balance your energies out, this time the sweetness is coming. And it's going to be a time of harvest. I'm sorry if this is crooked. Um, it's going to be a time where you you have nurtured yourself. You have pruned back. You've weeded. And now your garden is beautiful. And people are coming to see that garden. All right? They're, they want to be there. For some of you guys, there are new tribe members coming forward. There are new... Um, 
not tribe, well, there's like soul tribe, soul tribe members coming forward. There are, as a new person, for some of you guys, this is love. This is love. This is the love you've been waiting for. And um, if you're in a relationship and you're unhappy, this is someone else approaching. They're going to enter your garden. And for many of you guys, this connection is going to be so deep that they're not going to care if you're in a relationship. They're going to approach anyway because they feel driven. They feel driven. Look at this energy. It feels like all this energy is moving towards this person. I feel like if you're a feminine, the masculine is going to be coming forward. Um, and that's energy not gender. They're going to be moving towards you. For some of you guys, this is more people coming in, in with more force, like more of them. Or um, when they show up, it's going to be like, oh, that, oh, that's my person. Or, oh, that's somebody I, I knew in a past life. You're going to have awarenesses of the deep levels of connection with people. For some of you guys, you're thinking about jo uh, joining a group. It could be an online group or forming an online group. There's something about an online group here for some of you people I don't mean that bad when I say some of you people. I hate when I do that. Anyway, <laughs> you lovely people. Um, and I feel like um, and there's this group here and they're going to come from this group or, you know, if you have a social platform, I feel like it's growing. It's going to get bigger. People are going to show up and be like, hey, we, we've gone. We've watched you bloom. We, we watched you go through it. Um, and uh, we're here. We're here. We're here. Yeah, it's happy. I'm feeling a lot of ha happiness and peace. And I feel like you're going to become um, the ruler of your your kingdom, right? You're going to be able to understand that you are divinely guided. You're going to get validation on your journey, okay? And I feel like for some of you, like there's a leadership coming. Leadership in some kind of way. It could be at work. It could be in a relationship. It could be in a group, a social group. It doesn't have to be online. It could be you know, in a, in a social group or a club or something, you know, in person, but there's definitely some leadership and it all starts with you leading your own life and understanding that you command. It's almost like I'm getting, you command the wind, how it blows in your sail. Like that's the level that we're getting to here. It's like, it's not just you steer your ship, you control the wind and how it flows against your sail. You are in flow. You're going to enter a time where you are in flow. You're doing some things you love. You're meeting people you love. You're with people you love and you're happy. You're at peace. When you get to this place, I'm telling you, it as as we tip the scale of people who get into this energy, we're going to find that things in our world will seem to kind of resolve a little bit. I'm not saying complete relief here, but we're going to find out some things in the next, you know, few months about, about systems of control. And we're going to be made to face as a collective, the, the graphic dysfunction. For some of us, we already know about it. Um, but it's going to be hard because, you know, we're going to see people suffer at their new reality, at the reality that we've been in. Okay. Because once we deal with that, then we can walk into the newness. Some of us are already holding space for like new earth. We're already there. Some of us, and I've said this before in another reading, some of us are kind of like back and forth. We're, we're, we're like three, four, five D. It's like we pop out, we pop out. 4D is where um, I personally like, you know, take what resonates here. I work with timelines in 4D. Um, and it's a very visionary experience when I do it. I feel totally engulfed in the energy. And I know that this timeline that we are on is heavily protected. It's a, it's a sacred timeline. All timelines have merged now into this timeline. And there's energy that really wants this timeline to break off. Okay. But if you're seeing this, you're on the timeline that is heavily heavily protected. Now, I just said all timelines lead to one. Yes. Yes, they do. But we're talking about dimension out dimensions here. We're talking about different dimensions. So, you know, it's time is such a hard concept to work with because all time is now. But humans feel past, but they have a hard time feeling future, right? I mean, yeah, like we project into the future, but sometimes we can't feel it. You know what I'm saying? Many times we feel our past. So many times the future heals the past. As you move into a place where you are more timeless, I lose track of time all the time. Um, I lose um, a sense of uh, balance um, because I immediately when I'm out of time, and usually I enter out of time situations when I am reading or I'm in a session or I'm doing spiritual work. And that's kind of how the opening 
for jumping, uh, for quantum jumping starts for me. Like that's how I jump to different timelines and manifest things that come through and readings and things like that. So, all right, guys, um, I think I'm going to end it there. I hope this resonated. If it did or didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear with, hear from you guys. I hope my mic is still working and you can hear me. Um, and I didn't mess it up too much. I'm going to try not to edit this video very much because my guides, namely Lilith, has been like, you need to stop over editing your videos. You need to leave in parts of your personality. And for me, that's like one of those things I put to the side, <laughs> right? So, you know, this reading, you know, it, it, I read myself a lot when I'm in these, like, uh, these dailies and in my picker cards. I always am like, oh, why do we have to do this now? But, you know, I know that um, I resonate with my tribe. And so a lot of the stuff you're going through, I'm going through. And these readings many times are for me as well. So um, with that said, I'll see you beautiful, magical creatures next time. Bye, guys.